Hi, I'm Patrick Houston. I'm off to the World Field Championships in two days time and I'm going to show you how to make a sight tape today. So first up we shoot at 20 meters. We get, make sure our sight's in the center, preferably on the floor because that's what we're going to be shooting at a field course and uh, you just make sure you've got your arrows in the center as I'll show you now. So now we have our 20 meter sight mark, we need to mark it onto the sight tape. I would strongly recommend using a little adjustable pencil like this one. Don't use a pen, they, uh, they run in the rain. See there's a little gap, that's fine, we just offset all our sight marks by one millimeter. So now we've got 20, can move the sight down towards the bottom and get a 60 meter mark. So now I've got my 60 meter sight mark, I'm going to head back up to the top end, mark that on the sight, and then show you how I plot out the, the sight marks in between. They are all a little low, so I'll maybe give it, you know, two or three clicks just to bring them up right to the middle of it. Because this is what all the rest of the sight marks are then based on. So, now that I have my 20 and 60 meter sight marks, what we're going to do is go onto Google, type in sight mark calibration chart, this here, and then we'll print out this set of lines. Really simple what we do, tear off a little strip, like I have here, and then go to the top and mark your 20 and 60 on there. Be very accurate with this, as I say, the rest of the sight marks are based on it. So, now that we have the distance between our 20 and 60 meter sight marks, as you can see, these lines are all marked out. And basically, this is designed as a parabola to show the uh, exponential flight of the arrow. So now you put the top line onto your 20 meter mark and then move your bottom one, move it along until the two line up. Nope, that's the wrong way. So 20 and just about here, the two line up. But it needs to be absolutely accurate, so make sure you have that marked. And now we need two hands, so I'll show you how it comes out. So now I've marked these out, this is the exact plot of my sight marks. From 60 meters, 55, 40, 45, 30, 35, 30, 25, 20. And yes, we'll get 10 and 15 separately because weird and wonderful things happen with arrows in short distance. So now all I'm going to do is copy that onto the sight tape. Once again, be very accurate. And here's the sight tape, all ready to go. Ready to rock and roll at the World Field Archery Championships. Copied out from the sight calibration chart, drawn on in pencil. I would advise then going out and checking all the marks because particular body angles can end up some of the sight marks being just a fraction off. So, there you have it. How to make a sight tape. The best and most accurate way of getting sight marks for field. We're here in Bray, two days before the start of the World Field Champs. Just like to introduce you to Craig McCreary, my gold medal winning Barbo teammate. Craig, would you like to tell, tell us uh, where we are? Well, we're in Bray, just uh, at a mozzarella and wine bar, having a light lunch. You enjoying it? Mm. It is very good. We're slowly demolishing this plate of cheese. <laughs> Different, eh?